What is going on, everybody? I go by the name of Curry, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. Early look for you guys today. Now, this is a sneaker that a couple of people have seen some pictures of. This is a shoe that actually has already come out over in China, but is not slated to release in the United States until December the 29th. So we have an in-hand look at the full packaging today. Let's dive right into it. All right, now, first things first, as you guys can see, is the words Air Jordan that's on top of this really nice deep red box here. Kind of it looks like it's some weird kind of artistic characters, almost like graffiti. Remember that word graffiti because we're talking about that a lot today. Looking at the paper and the details, you can see it says Air Jordan 23, kind of in this uh, woven together pattern, kind of this crisscross type of pattern here. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Air Jordan 4 Tattoo. Now, at first glance, this shoe looks kind of crazy. It looks really busy, but let's break down the shoe and then let's talk a little bit more about the history of the shoe and why this collaboration is actually really special for Jordan brand and for China. Starting with the upper of this sneaker here, right? You have this really cool, they call it a tattoo pattern where there's little basketballs in here. There's a lot of white and black details that are going all throughout the upper of this shoe. Now, this was completely designed by a graffiti crew in China that we'll talk about in just a moment. On the of the shoe you have that nice red jump man against that black background with the word flight that's also in black underneath it you have the red eyelids with the black cages going down the lateral and medial side of the shoe as well let's get into this leather this at first glance actually looks like a shoe that's really i don't know it's kind of the same kind of leather that you see but when you really take a look here this leather is actually very very soft and really premium leather here if i press it you can see how how plus that leather is really nice stuff this isn't just your normal cotton lining on the inside of this sneaker. This is a nicer kind of stretchy uh, neoprene type of material here. It's really nice. It's got a little bit of bounce to it. And it's, it's, it's not just the normal cotton. You're not gonna get your little sock fuzzies from your socks caught on these. This is, this is a really nice neoprene, a little more premium material for the inner of this shoe. On the heel of the shoe, you have a black jump man against a black background with that black heel pull. On the inside of the tongue, you've got that Air Jordan in those same graffiti type of letters. Classic fire red, black, and white midsole on the shoe with those same colors on the outsole of the shoe with the red jump man right there in the middle as well. Last but not least, on the lateral and medial side of the shoe, you have that classic mesh netting and that's that same mesh netting that you've got on the tongue as well. For the last few years, Jordan Brand has been coming out with these special Greater China versions of the Singles Day packs. They came out with some 12s one year, one for men, one for women. This year, they're coming out with these Jordan 4s. So Jordan Brand has really been doing things to promote Singles Day and certain holidays in the Chinese culture. The funny thing about that is that here in America, we tend not to be as plugged into the Chinese culture, honestly, as we should be. I mean, it's a big world out here and we need to be more plugged into it. Okay, now follow me because I'm about to throw a lot of information to you guys pretty quickly about this shoe, its origins, and what makes it so special. There's a sneaker store that's over in China. It's called Deal. Now, there's a lot of people who shop at Deal and who do a lot of business with Deal, including graffiti artists. Now, for those who don't know, graffiti is extremely popular over in China and especially in Beijing, so much so that there are graffiti crews that do different events in and around the community. One of those crews is called ABS. ABS stands for Active, Brilliant, and Significant. Now, the ABS crew owns a graffiti store that's called 400ML. Now, 400ML store, which is run by the ABS crew, is located in the 798 Art District in Beijing. Still with me? Good. A long time ago, New Balance approached the sneaker store deal to collaborate on a sneaker, and they did so on the 997.5. Now, when they made that sneaker, they did it in collaboration with the ABS graffiti crew. So ABS was starting to get their feet wet a little bit with designs and with the sneaker making process and things like that, and they wanted to do it again. So they were in search of a bigger and better opportunity. And of course, in came Jordan Brand. Jordan Brand approached ABS and went to 400 ML and had a discussion with a lot of people from the crew, and they decided to start working on their own Air Jordan sneaker. And the sneaker that was created a year later is the Jordan 4 tattoo for Singles Day. Hypebeast did a really great job of talking about the process, talking to a couple of people, and even interviewing one of the designers of the shoe, a guy that goes by the name of Noise. So the Jordan 4 tattoo was released during a special in-store launch at the OKWZK sneaker store, also of course located in China. And that was around the beginning of November, with of course a Greater China launch on 11-11 or Singles Day. Remember, 11-11, 1-1-1-1 represents all those single 
single people. So all those ones represent singular people, which is where you get Singles Day from. Now there's actually some really dope apparel that's also gonna be coming with this. I've seen t-shirts. I've also seen some other little things, little knickknacks. I saw a limited edition action figure. I'm not sure if that's something that we would get over here or if that's something that was especially created for China. But I guess we'll see when the shoe drops on December the 29th. All in all, I wanted you guys to know a little bit more about the history of this sneaker because a lot of people have just been calling it the tattoo and they've just generically been saying, oh, it looks like tattoos, which yes, the designs of course are made to look like different tattoo designs with some basketballs implemented in there as well. But when you really take a deeper look at this, you can actually see that this is art at its finest. And what do I always tell you guys? Sneakers are art and this is your canvas. And the guys that made this shoe literally were able to go from creating graffiti in their own neighborhoods to getting their graffiti on their own Air Jordan sneaker. It's a passion project and it's one that I'm really excited for. So with all that being said, now's the time for you guys to sound off. Tell me, what do you think about the Air Jordan 4 tattoo? Is this one that you guys wanna add to your collection or not? There seem to be some mixed reviews about this one. Maybe it's just the way that the sneaker looks looks, but I think a lot of people still like the fact that they use the classic fire red, black, and white color schemes. But you know, I'm not quite sure how you guys feel exactly about the designs of the shoe. So looking at the design of the shoe, tell me what you guys feel about it. Are you feeling it? Are you not feeling it? Let me know. Leave your comments down below. As always, like I always say, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there to make sure that you don't miss out on any more heat like this, because I guarantee you, I got a lot more heat on the way. And as always, I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker fetish. Again, I go by the name of Kari. This is the Air Jordan 4 tattoo due to release on December the 29th in the United States. And until next time, I'm out.